What is up, YouTube? It's the Pack Life here, and we're back with another video. So before I get into this break, I just want to give a shout out to the Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis. I really can't believe they actually won the title. Man, the the path that they had to take to get there, man, being down 0-2 to the Nets, Giannis with a scary, what looked like a playoff ending knee injury, and they getting down 0-2 to the Suns. That one, man, they, they really grinded that one out, man. So shout out to them. Giannis got it done. It's crazy. But with that said, what do you guys think I should do with this card? I've had it for over, I think I bought it about a year and a half ago. And now that he's finally won the championship, which is pretty much what everybody that collects Giannis was waiting for, let me know what you guys think I should do. I'm, I'm considering holding it a little bit longer, but, um, you know, I'm always open to advice. But with that said, let, let's go ahead and, um, today we're going to be breaking a blaster box of Prism. Man, it's been about a month, maybe, since I broke something. Not even, I mean, just broken something in general. Like, I, I know I haven't done too much on the channel since they stopped doing retail at Target, but just in general, man, I haven't, I haven't ripped open anything and th the reason being is um as you can see the price point on this blaster on the secondary market now um i didn't pay sticker price for this but as you can see on average they, you know if you're buying retail at hobby shops on average you're probably going to be paying 4x this is actually the standard price this is what i see a lot of people especially on the facebook groups i'm in um this is what they sell these blasters for and they sell out pretty quick at these this price so this is pretty much the going rate and this is the reason like I said why I can't really for what I do in the hobby I, I can't really break you know secondary market products you know for me as retailer bus because I, I spend so much on PSA grading I buy so many singles but um yeah shout out to legacy hooked it up not only did I pick up this blaster for Less than um, sticker price, but they also hooked up the, if you can see in the background, let me get it to focus. They also hooked up the autograph from the logo himself. Um, I always wanted a Jerry West autograph, and I seen this one over there for a good price. Um, I didn't pay sticker on that either. I think they gave me like 10, 20% off on that. And then I always wanted a Larry Bird autograph for some reason because um to be honest this was one of my dad's favorite players was Larry Bird and he used to always talk about him I remember when I was I was really young he used to always talk about the Celtics and Larry Bird um so yeah I couldn't I couldn't wait to get one of his cards finally got it so these two are going to the PC um but yeah let's talk about the break before I do this prison break though my nephews were in town last week, and we had discussed the hobby in collecting cards, and they said that they, they watch card breaks on YouTube sometimes, um, primarily Pokemon. They watch a few sports card breaks, and they swore to me, the older one, his name is Levi, he swore to me that it's not that hard to break cards. So when I went to Legacy, because I, I took them to Legacy last week, I said, all right, you, 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 it's easy to break cards, you think? So um, I bought him a pack of Chronicles, and I told him, I'm going to record while you break this pack, and let's see how well you do. So before I break this Prism Blaster, you guys are going to watch. I'm going to show you guys my nephew breaking um, the Chronicles pack that I got him. And, man, it was rough. So, <laughs> you know, just brace yourself because... Yeah, it, it was rough. <laughs> as a, as the one filming and watching how he did it. So yeah, um, before we break this blaster box, go ahead and check his breakout, and um, we'll go from there. All right, I'm gonna have Levi open a pack of Chronicles. Do not do it. Do it gently though. Nana, show him how to show him how to open it, then hand it to him because I don't know. And do it right here in front of the purple. Bro, hey bro, bro. 
Bro. Those carts could be expensive. I know. Levi, Right. That's that. Okay. Wash okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> when after you go through it, whew, don't touch it. Just lay it flat. All right. Just lay it flat. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. okay. There you go. Okay. But there's a mystery so one on the bottom. So first yeah, you got Trey Young. Slide it over and try not to bend the corners. That's the whole point. All right. Okay. All right. Spin it. Who's and next? Then, uh, we got. Yeah. Trent Davis. Awesome. Just slide it on top of it. Oh, who's All right, that? now we got Jarrett Colbert. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Who's that one? Right. Now Who? we got um, Kobe White. Kobe White. Yeah. All okay. Right. You probably don't say this guy. You probably don't know his name. Um, I That's won't fine. open one because this I don't know the name. Yeah. Who's that? Can you read his name? I thought you have 200 IQ. Uh. No. Giant. Bro, Giant. It's so hard to read his name. It's Giannis. Giannis yeah. Antetokounmpo. I'm not gonna open nice. one because okay. I don't know how to read. Okay. Yeah. And then. All right, you'll do the Pokemon. P.J. Washington Jr. Okay. Who's this? All right. And then uh, Jason Tatum. <laughs> you, you don't know who any of these guys are. Do you know any of them? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Who's that? All right. Now we got Devonte. Okay. Alright. Who's this? No, we got Seko. <laughs> Get LeBron James. Who's that? Now we got Zach. Okay. And uh, Pascal okay. Siakam. Okay. Alright, now we got PJ Washington. Okay. Again. Who's right. that? Now we got Kawhi Leonard. Awesome. Alright, and we got LeBron James. Awesome. Sweet. All right, Dinah, can you just slide those over? See, I told you guys that was going to be a rough break. But, yeah, he didn't really pull anything too crazy. And after I recorded him, he was like, man, I need a little bit of practice. So <laughs> next time he's back in town, I'll, I'll make sure to do a, a dual break with him or a pack wars. And let's see if he got better. But um, enough of that, man. Let's Let's go ahead and... Get into this uh, blaster box. Um, I used to break this all the time when they were available at Walmart and at Target. Like they didn't sell out. And um, I remember only pulling one green pulsar prism, and that's number to 25. I'll show you guys some of the things you could pull. But yeah, it was one out of 25, and it was a Derek Favors. But um, yeah, if you pull a, if you're able to get a pulsar out of this, man, that's that's a crazy pull because it's number to 25, and man, I think like the Luca, as you can see, it's the green pulsar in the purple way. But I think the green pulsar Luca, man, it's like 50k or 100k is a PSA 10. It's pretty crazy, um, or that's what I've seen on YouTube. But you can pull all types of stuff, silvers. Um, but I think the green pulsar is one of the main numbered cards you could get out of this but yeah easily my favorite break um, one of my favorite breaks definitely worth it at $20 retail at 80 um, I don't know um, at 80 you're really testing your luck you want to hope to pull a monster but yeah let's go ahead and get into it I already ripped the plastic while you guys were watching my nephew's break so we're ready um, security tag, that's a good thing. These always come, most they come in the packs or in the blasters like that so people don't steal them out of the stores. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six packs. Six packs per box, it says on the box. And four cards per pack. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. You know, as, as much as I love breaking prism and blasters, these are definitely hit or miss on the secondary market. You don't really pull nothing crazy. I mean, it, it's it's few and far between that you get something crazy out of this. Wow, with that said, <laughs> first card out of the pack. And man, that's that could either be great or that could be terrible because if this is this, this might end up being the best card I pull. <laughs> but we got a nicely centered LeBron James. That's going to go into the PC. As, you said, as I said, I, I PC all the LeBron cards I pull myself. Those are long-term holds. 
Nilakina, what happened to him? They, I remember they put Nilakina in to stop Trey Young from scoring in crunch time, and Trey Young just walked the ball up and just laid it up on him like he wasn't even there. It's ridiculous. I don't know what their plans for that guy is. A sophomore stars, Cam Reddish. I've never seen this. I didn't know they. This must be a new insert. And then we have Alex Poku, base rookie. So best card, I think, is a LeBron. We got the Poku right here. Let's keep going, man. Hopefully we get one silver rookie. That's all I'm asking for. You know? Or I'll, I'll even take a silver Giannis at this point. I mean, Alex Caruso, base Mitchell Robinson. And here's this green. You can get the green parallels out of packs too. Austin Rivers, of all people, he finds his way into the blaster. And then Andre Drummond. So it's not a rookie guaranteed per pack. I don't know if it was back in the day. I mean, back in 2018, but I think you're you're you get a mem too. This might be the mem. I know a lot of people save the mems for last, but I'm just gonna open it in the order that they're stacked. It is what it is. Get through it. Um, Cody Zeller base and a Desmond Bain. Wait, I got an autograph. This is an autograph. Wait, what? Man, I, I I got a Desmond Bain autograph. That's crazy. What a pull. Um, I've broken so many blaster boxes, and I never, ever pulled an autograph. So that's crazy to get one, man, out of my first blaster this year. So we'll put that up there. I don't have the sleeves. I'll actually sleeve it after and then do a recap. And then we got a Instant Impact, Obi Toppin, and... Um, Daniel Otoru. Wow, I mean, that's, that's, I'd say that's probably going to be my best card. I don't think I'm going to pull anything better than that, but. And he played pretty well, man, in the playoffs, so I'm happy with that. I'm not going to complain, especially out of a blaster box that I didn't pay full secondary price for. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Well, I totally mangled this pack. This is ridiculous. But as I said, you know, in my last video with with Prism, you know, when it comes to like grading, you could, you know, just to just to add to it real quick. Like I said, man, as you break the pack, you'll know right away. You know, this is why I like Chrome cards as opposed to paper, because the, the corners, which a lot of people are big on corners and centering. Most of the time, the corners are just going to be sharp out of the pack. And if they're not, if there's a flaw, you're going to notice it right away. So. That's kind of why I stick to Prism. And from now on, I'm going to kind of stick to Prism and Chrome cards because it's, um, even though the design is crazy, it's kind of easier to tell if a card is going to jam or get a great grade just based off of like um, just looking at it from the pack. So um, let's go ahead and keep going. Um, Troy Brown Jr., we have a silver here. Let's see who we got. Bam, Robert Woodard. Silver Rookie, yeah, I got what I asked for. I can't complain. Robert Woodard. I, I still can't believe I pulled that Desmond Bain. I'm telling you, man, breaking cards for three years, I've never gotten an autograph out of Prism. Like, out of Prism Blasters, ever. Like, So that that's a first, man, and you guys got to witness it live. Um, Dwight Powell, I wonder what the Mavericks are going to do for next year. Hopefully, they're able to get another superstar in for Luka. We're all waiting for that. All us Luca collectors are waiting for that. Bam, we pulled an emergent Lamelo. Sweet. I seen the rookie logo. I thought it was the real deal. This is the um Yeah, it's the pump fake rookie that we got. But I'm not complaining, man. It's a Lamelo ball. So so far out of the six packs we've gotten four rookies. I'm putting them to the side. And this is our last pack. See if we get some last pack mojo. I really doubt it because of the autograph. I mean I'm guessing since Panini let me get that, the, the rest of the pack, the box is going to be garbage. Um, but that's fine, man. I'm happy. Desmond Bain. All right, so we got an Ella Silver bra uh, base. Anthony Davis base. We got a silver. Bam! Kenyon Martin Jr. Silver. Nice. And our last card is a Tyler Hero second year. So this is a pretty decent break, man. I'm not going to lie. Let me go ahead and sleeve this stuff up real quick. 
and then I'm gonna show you guys the hits. Give me one second. All right, so I went ahead and sleeved everything up for you guys, um, just to do a quick recap. Um, now, all of these cards that I, I break on the channel, they're, the, they're unless I specifically say that I, I PC the cards, I, I'm, I'm down to either, they'll either be put in a giveaway or I'm down to do trades if you guys really need these for your PC. Just let me know in the comments, man. A a anything I break. I mean, if it's something that I I will specifically PC, it's not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll let you guys know that it's not, it won't be available. But like I said, everything that I break on the channel, if you guys are interested, just leave a comment below and let me know, man. We can work something out for sure. We got the emer Emergent Lamello Ball. We got the base, Poku. Silver, Robert Woodard. Um, Silver, Kenyon Martin. And the biggest hit, and I knew it was going to be the biggest hit, was the Desmond Bain, Prism Auto. This guy's a sniper, man, so he's got that going for him. He's going to be in the league for a while as long as he keeps that up. But, um... Yeah, a quick thing though before before we end this video. Uh in the last giveaway, I didn't I was checking my email for like the past couple days after we did that and um I didn't get anybody I didn't get anybody's emails as far as um you know, so I could ship the cards out to you, but um I'm not going to lie though, I haven't checked in the last couple of days. I'll, I'll go back into there after I finish this video. Um j just just let me know. Um I said it was a week after the giveaway that um, I was going to give you guys to get back to me, but you know we're chill on this channel, man. So just just hit me up if if you were announced a winner in the last giveaway. Just still that's still available, man. Just just email me, let me know which cards you're interested in, and I'll get that out to you as soon as possible. And um, to continue the summer of giveaway, it's basically me just. Uh, getting the upload but i'm gonna give away a card to pretty much everybody that commented so far i mean i think i counted it's like maybe five to ten people so all of you guys are gonna get cards regardless we're not doing we're not gonna randomize it i'm just gonna give i'm just gonna give a card to each one of you guys uh i'll, I'll do the announcement or i'll do the upload after this one and it's just pretty much if you if you've made a comment in the last maybe two to three weeks since i started the giveaway i'm, I'm gonna give you guys a card straight up so um yeah be on the lookout for that it's going to end this video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And um, I will catch you on the next one. Peace.